Today's video, we're taking the rod bearings out of the M5. So we're gonna spin you around here. I'll show you just in one second what we're doing. Philip's not here, as you notice, we're using the phone, so everything's a big mess. Uh, but I couldn't wait. We're not gonna be able to shoot this video until tomorrow. I thought, well, I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. So we've been working really hard, taking everything apart. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. I've done it once, now it just comes apart real easy. You know exactly what to do. Um, all the rods are a little bit loose, like all of them equally. We found no metal all in the oil pan, um, nothing. My maroon car actually had more metal in it than this. Uh, nothing in the filter, nothing in the pickup screens. Just an extremely tiny amount of copper in the uh, bottom of the oil filter housing. So anyhow, last night I got a link, just took one of the ones that were loose apart. It looked very odd. I'm not gonna show you that right now. We're gonna go ahead and take them apart uh, from number 10 cylinder on to the front to number one. The Vanos pump, everything seems to be really good. I'm not sure what's going on with this. Nobody's ever had it apart. We could tell by, there's a lot of bolts on this engine. You cannot basically put back in the way the factory put them in and these were all perfect. We're gonna take each one out. We're not going to replace anything yet until we see all of them. Looking at that bearing, I don't quite understand what's happened here. Um, but so far the crank isn't trash. Let's go ahead and pull this off. Let's see. What the hell? Let's uh... give her a little wiggle here. Remind me, this car is not knocking. I'm not quite sure. I've never seen an S85 look like this. Is that bearing spun? It's spun. What the hell? I'm gonna try to hold this up here. Look at that. And it spun the little, little teeth off of it. So it's got road rash on the back, man. On the back and on the front. But there's no wear. Like it's not down to cop. Like what the hell is even happening here? This mine put the wrong bearings in it. it. Looks like it's not taken apart. Is the rod? Oh, the rod looks totally fine. Let's pull another one. Let's not get too crazy here. Let's turn it over just a little bit more. Let's go ahead and go to the next. Right, don't turn over backwards. I'm just going a little bit. This is number nine. <clears throat> This one's fine. This is where the copper's coming from, is this one. But look at this. It's kind of typical for these engines. Garbage, that actually has some pretty good crash in it. Let's see how does the crank look on this cylinder here. It's like perfect. I'm not sure what's going on here, but we need an engine. That's what we do know. We need, we necessarily need an engine, we need a crank and rods. Um, it almost looks like somebody's been, in, even though the bolts don't look like it, it looks like somebody's been in here. It almost looks like somebody put the wrong bearings in it. And to make that even worse, uh, we took six out so far, four of them were spun. Right? When a rod bearing spins, it usually spins because it's knocking and it's smashing the bearing. Once the bearing gets so loose, it'll spin the whole entire bearing will start spinning inside the rod. The bearing is scratched, but it's not down to copper or anything. But it spun the little latch, the little locking latch off. Well, doesn't matter now, right? It spun the locking latch off of the cap. Um, 
here's what happens when that when that goes on. The crank's not scratched that I've seen so far. Will I just put it together and hope it's gonna work? No, it's, it's just not the way this works. Um, so, I don't know, it's weird, right? I built a lot of engines. You guys see me build a lot of engines on this channel. Um, also, it looks like the bearings, two of the bearings were different than the rest of them, right? Uh, four out of the six were black bearings. These other ones were just regular silver bearings. Um, so once it spins in the rod, it starts wallowing out the connecting rod and makes it out of round or at the minimum, it shaves a thousandths or so off of it where it's not gonna fit correctly in there, even though it looked like they fit correctly still. It almost looks like this thing set for a long time. It almost looks like the crank grabbed the bearings and turned them like when it started, because they're like all like that. Or somebody's running low on oil. Uh, that'll also, but that's this is not likely on this at all. And the rod itself is all scratched up. It's not bad, it's just a little bit. And the one we pulled out, the little nub that holds it from spinning was just barely broken off, like it hadn't actually spun yet. Um, have ever seen the engine spin that many bearings? No, uh, we have not. Um, like the N63 had a spun bearing, it was like one and two was knocking. Um, the other side of the story is how is this thing not knocking? It's not knocking at all. Um, that means the bearings aren't worn it only spun the latches off of them, the little locking dowel. Um, it's almost like that did that like very, very, very recently. Um, but here's the situation. If I put the ACL bearings back in it, we just don't know, right? We kind of know that it'll probably blow up, but we don't know for sure if it'll blow up. Uh, whatever happens has happened within like a very tiny amount of miles. Um, unfortunately the micrometer I got is not quite big enough to measure this crankshaft. Um, even then like filling the crankshaft, it's not rough, but it is, it just looks, you could feel it though. It's not like a, for say a scratch, like ordinarily you would see. It's almost like I could just scrape it off. Like it's just lead deposited on there. And like all these are all loose. And this one here has a little bit of burnt on it. Let's change gears a little bit. If anybody has a good S85, let me know. We do need that. Um, I know S85s, they don't give those things away, man. If it's to the mileage and these rod bearings, we have all that. We would do that no matter what. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> this turned into from a good deal to not a good deal in a snap of a finger. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments of this. Definitely a big letdown. We need $8,000 engine is what we need. Amongst anything else that possibly could be wrong. Pull the engine outside, big deal. She's almost out right now, boys. I hook everything to the top, set down the hydraulic table, and away we go. Uh, but we still have this damn X6M engine all apart in the shop. And my God, my God. Okay, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. See you guys later.